Military grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So do they have a suspect? Now to one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man, but his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he gave this city... No, he gave us... What are you looking at? ...a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life My we hold dear place, boy. to Remy.
I see what you mean. Remy would have appreciated you being here on his account. Hey! I've never actually seen your nephew here. either. I had us some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Dubal fortune when his daddy died. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. I Thank put them you. right in the trash. Yes, I said, honey, if I'm going to spend my I mean, every last goddamn dime. Yeah, I want to go Jesus. somewhere with What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll so, remind them to maintain wide pride, brother. Hartford, because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Shame we had to let her go. She's been with us since our if boy was so. in diapers. But you tell me, what was she I'm thinking? so sorry, darling. Letting her son into our pool like that. First, it's it all right. He's resting with Jesus now. Hmm? Uh, what yeah. kind of ideas has she been We're fine. Get over here with that rabbit. Bible man. Right. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? My condolences. Oh, he's he's probably one of the good I want to watch two coons mix it up. I can do that any time in the hollow. Gotcha. Essentially, that inharmonious clause lets the FHA right. sidestep in the great She was Jesus just a little blip in the market, well, that's all. Oh, that is that a new outfit? It looks grand way. on you, Frank. Anyway, I told you, your money's safe. Not, just give me until the end of the quarter, and we'll get you so all course, squared I'll away. Do. End of year, Tops. Sure? I see what you mean. Man, dingo, nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. True and true. Damn straight. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says. I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that cracker. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, Is that? me, oh, I... him. We're all connected. <laughs> Do you see light trails? Whoa! <laughs> this is some crazy shit.
See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. These people are out of their mind. Yes. I see them. I see Remy. Oh, no. Wait. Oh. I am Remy. He's possessed me. Oh. Oh, what do you see? Stars, the moon, and so many Something's colors. wrong. Oh, Get me out of here so now. Yes, ma'am. I want you additional men placed on the front door and around yeah. back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they all come <laughs> down with some kind of. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the bar. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands. See if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. Major Lydia, get down! Don't you know you you're dead? bastard! <laughs> God, what the shit! Someone protect Miss Marcus! Get your head down! Got your bitch now! Get behind something! always something terribly romantic about all of this. <gasps> there ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Or maybe not. But it certainly was Where's the Garmo? Garmo. Ah, they have me out in a building. Down by the wall. Thought you were gonna kill me. You ain't worth the trouble.
got a beat on it! Ah! Motherfuckers, bad yeah. voice! asking you a second time, boy. You've a sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! That stupid son of a bitch! Fucking crew! I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, you they can still be here. I swore he was here. Hey, Maybe I should look over there. Oh, God. He's dead. It's 
Cassandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with phones. I'll be happy to take care of that for you. out there. Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go... Oh. I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? I did it myself, ear to ear, just like you wanted. Good boy. Leave us alone. I got business to discuss. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See, si, certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. It makes them crazy. Stupid. It brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No, I do not drink. Georgie, tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger is causing you problem. That you wish to discuss a deal between the two of us? I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all set. Now the rights to the land are all tied up. It's that goddamn mess. You won my money. I'm gonna need enough to pay for all the blood-sucking lawyers, and that's not cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words. Please. I want your money. This is good. I will bring you the money. And in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only thing that you... You also wish for me to kill the nigger? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. She 
Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe, justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy. Look who's decided to grace us with his presence. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Zal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. You and me were already tied together in this, seeing as how I'm running most of the city for you. Going someplace else? Let's just say I can be the jealous type. You came and wound me up with your big tale about how we're gonna march through the city, murdering every Marcano bastard we cross. But look at me. I got nearly nothing here. Where's the tale you sold me, lad? Was it lies? It's time you fucking deliver. Here's the thing, Lincoln. Getting you boys in here vying for turf is guaranteed to end up a pissing contest. Just easy on everybody if you give me the territory like you did last time. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? Can't go wrong here, brother, as long as you lean my way. <laughs> Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh book of... Gonna need Vito to run this turf. I've had enough of this shite. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies, and I'll never forgive you for it. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. There's only so much shit none an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln, and it's time you made this right. Burke, come on now. Shit don't need to jump that far yet. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. I'm sure things didn't break the way some of you were expecting, but this is the way I think things should run. 